when I've been busy again, I've been buying some Continental Locos and wagons. This small shell tanker is made by Marklin. It's over 50 years old. It's actually designed for the three rail uh, tracks, but I've taken off the metal wheels and put plastic wheels for now. Um, otherwise it'll short the circuit. This one is a BR 111. Uh, it's missing its pantograph. Well, when I say missing, they're broken, so I need to repair them. Um, this is uh, another one I've repaired. The other side, I can't show at the moment, um, had paint damage. But I don't know if you can just see the slight difference on the door there, in the, in the shading. I've managed to repaint the other side with almost an identical match. It doesn't look so bad. This is another BR216. This one is, just let me check, this one is the 011. This is a, quite a good model. This is Lima. This one is a 216 uh, 016. This is a different shaped body to the others. I quite like this one. I've done some highlighting as usual around the window frames. Uh, the glazing on this was uh, opaque. So I've taken all that out and fitted uh, clear glazing. This Carlsberg beer wagon is another Marklin designed for uh, the three three rail system. Uh, this one I've modified it. I've actually changed the chassis because it's all metal chassis. I couldn't find wheels for it. So this one has a slightly different chassis. This one is, oh yes, this one is a 216-0117. This one actually has internal lighting, front and rear lights. Um, I wasn't expecting that. It came in a box, very reasonably priced, as is all my stuff. I don't spend so much money on it. Um, so this is my latest addition to the fleet. So there's three three new locos this one i've had now for a couple of weeks there's another two on their way um i won't see what they are yet one of them is a small shunter the other one is a, a steamer so that's it um i'll show you them running very shortly we'll just hold on okay so this is my new 216 Zero 07. There we go. They always start off a bit jerky but then they settle down. This one doesn't actually have any traction tyres on the drive wheels. I've ordered them and they should be here in a week or so. It still runs around. You can hear it's a bit sort of grunchy but there we are. What can we do? I just wanted to try it. As usual, I took it all apart, stripped and cleaned the uh, ring field motor, put it all back together, new brushes. I've almost run out of brushes now. So there it is, pulling my modified Carlsberg beard container. I think it looks nice. Yeah, it definitely needs the uh, traction tyres. There we are. runs okay. It won't pull much because obviously the wheels are spinning and that's not the idea anyway. This is just to show you my latest additions. So there's just a few a few small things to do like I say the traction tires need to be a bit more detailing. That's it. Okay, so we'll stop that one. And now we'll bring on the BR111, the electric loco that runs without electric. Oh, wrong way. There we go. This one is very smooth and quiet. I'm very happy with this.
like I said before, you can get ring fields which are horrendous, very, very noisy. Um, doesn't matter what you do, you can quieten them, up, quieten them down. But I've been so lucky with the last ones I bought. Um, I have found a small secret for quiet running. I'm still experimenting, but it seems to be working so far. Maybe I'll reveal my secret one day. That's a bit of a chuff. Sounds more like a steam train. But that's just the gear wheels. But the actual motor is quite good. Very smooth. So there it is pulling its new shell tanker. The other shell tank is quite heavy. That's a Lima. There's that chuff again. I took the burrs off the gear wheels as recommended by many professional model repairers. I'm not one of those, I just do what I can with what I have. Okay, so now, uh, where are we? Um, okay, just hold on, I'll pause again and I'll change locos. Okay, so this is my BR216 slash 6, I think it is. This one, I've actually had to do away with the original motor and chassis. It was far too noisy. So this is, this is actually a Mahano body on a Mahano chassis, but a different Mahano chassis. I've modified it. So this one is all-wheel drive. The, this, because it's all-wheel drive, this obviously has drive shafts to the front and rear. Um, I forgot to put some grease on them. You can hear them, universal joints, making a bit of a... You can just hear that, a bit of a rattle as it goes round the corners. On the streets it's quite good. Again, very smooth, nice runner. The Mahano motors are quite good. The original Mahano motor and chassis that I've done away with is just, you can't seem to get them to run smoothly. It's a big motor with plenty of power, but they just don't run smooth. This one is a basically a can motor with drive shafts at each end. Very, very nice runner. And this one pulls very well. And you can control the speed right down. Okay, so thank you for watching. These are my new additions. Two more to come at a later stage, maybe in the next week or so. So that's it for now, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.